Good morning, boys and girls. The weekend is near. What are you going to do when it's here? Oh, how I wish we could have a real morning meeting where we could be all together and you could all tell me what you're going to do on the weekend. But you know, you can always write me a message in your fresh grade and you can tell me something that maybe you plan on doing or even send me a picture if you want to of something that you've done. I would love that. Today's story is called The Wrong Side of the Bed. Miss Bear was a good-natured bear, except for when she first got up. Then she grouched at Mr. Bear, grumped at the little bears, and even growled at herself. Later on, she was always sorry about it, too. I'm sorry I grouched, she told Mr. Bear. I'm sorry I grumped she told the little bear. Oh, that's all right, they always said. And one day, Mr. Bear added, I guess you just got out of the wrong side of the bed. How could that be? thought Mrs. Bear. All my life, I've gotten out of the same side. It really was a puzzle. By noon, it came to Mrs. Bear that she always had been grouchy in the morning, too, and at night, just as she was dropping off to sleep. Mrs. Bear thought she knew just what was causing the trouble. So the next morning, when Mr. Bear called her, Mrs. Bear did not get out of her own side of the bed. What do you think she did? Instead, she rolled a walloping big roll over to the other side of the bed. And she landed on the floor, nightgown and all, with such a thump that Mr. Bear and the Little Bears were sure she must be in a really bad mood now. But Mrs. Bear came downstairs, smiling from ear to ear. My goodness, said Mr. Bear, you're smiling. I know it, grinned Mrs. Bear, and all because I figured out that the wrong side of the bed is actually the right side for me. Mr. Bear had trouble understanding that, and the little bears didn't even try to get it. It was quite enough for them that from that day on, Mrs. Bear was a good-natured bear all day long.